Proverbs 23 and verse 2, notice what the Bible says. Proverbs 23 and verse 2, the Bible says this, And put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Now, you know, I don't think the Bible is saying this literally here. I think he's using hyperbole, but he's trying to show you, you know, how bad this uh, idea of being given to appetite can be. He says, put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Look at verse 21, same chapter, Proverbs 23, and verse number 21. Notice what he says. He says, for the drunkard and the glutton. Notice how those two ideas are often intermingled in Scripture. He says, for the drunkard and and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. He says it's not, it's not a good thing. He says if you're a drunkard or if you're a glutton, you'll be drowsy. You'll be, uh, uh, you know, a, a failure. Uh, he says it'll clothe a man with rags. Look at Proverbs 25 and verse number 16. Proverbs 25 and verse 16. And I want you to understand, the, the point of the sermon this morning is not to make you mad or hurt your feelings, but I want to show you what the Bible says and encourage you to get victory in this area of your life. And look, we all struggle with this. You know, we all uh, 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 gain weight, and obviously as we get older, we gain weight, and even, you know, I have recently gained weight, you know, and, and had to cut back on certain things. It was either I was going to have to cut back on certain things and lose some weight, and, you know, my, my wife is very health conscious, and she helped me with this. And, uh, you know, she, she helped me over the last uh, several months. Uh, I actually lost 10 pounds, you know, which is not a lot maybe for some of you or whatever. But it was enough for me to not have to go buy new suits, you know what I mean? And um, it was either get a whole new wardrobe of suits or lose a little bit of weight. And, look, we all fail in these areas, and we all uh, give it in these areas. And it's good to be reminded that we are to eat for strength and not for drunkenness. Proverbs 25, look at verse 16. Proverbs 25, 16 says, Has thou found honey? Eat so much, notice, as is sufficient for thee. There's nothing wrong with eating honey, just don't overdo it. There's nothing wrong with eating certain things. Eat what is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it.